you know, you've talked about this year being a landmark year for GSK. And of course, we know that part of that involves separating out your massive consumer healthcare business with big brands like Advil and Chapstick. Um, tell us about your recent decision to uh, reject three uh, bids for that consumer healthcare unit from Unilever, up to 50 billion pounds. Are you expecting to get a potential higher bid or are you expecting to go forward with the spinoff? Yeah, of course. Well, uh, thanks very much for having me. And uh, obviously, we're delighted uh, to be reporting such strong performance for 2021 and good momentum into 22, which is, as you've said, going to be a landmark year, both because it's going to be about a delivery of step change in performance for GSK, the biopharma business, with new uh, reported growth. We're very happy to give our guidance for that today. But also because it is the year in a matter of months where we plan to uh, demerge uh, our consumer business and create this new uh, company. Now, uh, obviously, we have said right from actually when I announced the Pfizer deal, which was followed on from a series of progressive strategic moves over many years to create this pure play consumer business, and we announced the intent to separate, we said our priority for that was always shareholder value creation. And that's exactly the lens, along with the opportunity to strengthen the GSK biopharma balance sheet, that's exactly the lens that the board uh, looked at these unsolicited uh, offers uh, through. And with that uh, due responsibility taken, there was a unanimous uh, rejection of the offers alongside our joint venture partners, I should say, because it fundamentally undervalued uh, the intrinsic value of consumer and, excitingly, its prospects for future growth. Uh, we've had uh, very broad-based, some of it public, uh, support from our shareholders for this position and are staying absolutely focused on the successful execution of the demerger. Looking forward to Capital Markets Day on the 28th of this month when we'll share in a lot more detail why we're so confident in the above category growth of this consumer business, a four to six uh, percentage growth outlook, but also sustainable uh, progressive margin expansion and great cash generation. It's an incredible business, pure play in the sector, amazing brands. You've referred to some of them. I hope many of them are in your uh, bathrooms and desk drawers and uh, great, great prospects and excited to bring more visibility to it. Well, let's talk about what remains, of course, in your pharmaceuticals business. And there's been a lot of focus lately and in the quarter on your COVID antibody drug, Citrovimab, which you're partnered on with Veer Biotech. And it's the last antibody drug standing that works against Omicron. And it's in short supply, even though you are making more and you just signed a new supply deal here in the U.S. Is there a way to yeah. ramp that up? What's the future of, of making that drug? Well, we have been mobilizing enormously um, around the supply of Zavudi, Citrovimab. Um, as you know, uh, delighted to have partnered with Veer on this. This, has been, this was an antibody that was designed particularly with the mutating virus uh, in mind and has shown very strong uh, efficacy and uh, prevention of hospitalization and death. And obviously, we're all delighted to see these high efficacy vaccines, but there's still a lot of people who demand and, and require treatment. Really pleased to be able to deliver uh, 1.4 bi billion in, in pounds of total contributions to um, uh, uh, COVID solutions last year, expecting to do the same again this year. We've mobilized supply uh, for up to 2 million units and to be supplied in the first half of this year. And, uh, you know, we'll continue to update as that progresses. Of course, we're also watching to see how the virus progresses, the contribution that's going to come from oral treatments from across the industry and potentially how these things may combine uh, together. So all of uh, our COVID solutions are excluded from our guidance outlook. They come on top of that, both on our five year horizon and for this year. But uh, delighted to be uh, helping patients now with Citrovimab and, and you know, working very hard to keep supply coming.